Welcome to another day of In the Garden with Pastor Evangelist Neil Gottman, planting seeds of hope from God's Word. I'm so happy to be able to be with you today. It's such a wonderful, wonderful time. And the wonderful thing about it is we can go into God's Word and study and we can find seeds of hope to plant in the fertile soil of our hearts. I want to start with a verse from John chapter 10 and verse 11. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. Just imagine that, folks. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. In John 10, 27 and following, he says, now, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give them eternal life. Think about it, folks. He gives us eternal life, and then they shall never perish. Never perish? Never, ever perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. The security that we have in Jesus Christ is just incredible. No one can ever snatch us out of his hand. You know, when you think about the life of a shepherd, shepherds had some real challenging things happening in their lives. They had the watch care over all of their flock. And when the enemy would come in, like the bear or the lion that, G that uh, David did, talked about when he was shepherding. Uh, and he had to go out and he killed a bear, he killed a lion, and he had to protect his flock. Jesus is in that business of protecting his flock. So we need to hear his voice. We need to understand what he's telling us. We need to listen for the things that Jesus wants to tell us in our life. You know, I heard something really interesting and studied this for a little while about a shepherd and, and what happens when a sheep or a lamb starts to stray. It was said that when a lamb would start to stray away from the flock and would continuously do so, the shepherd would reach out and bring the lamb back. It'd stray again, he'd reach out and bring the lamb back. And finally, after two or three times of that, what he would do is he would find the lamb and he would break the lamb's leg so he couldn't walk. Then he would take that lamb, put it up around his shoulders, and he would carry that lamb on his shoulders until that leg was healed and the lamb could walk again. You know, oftentimes that's what Jesus has to do with us. Sometimes he has to take us through some difficult and challenging times. Sometimes he has to break a leg, so to speak, but understand this, he will always carry us through those times. We're going through some times like that right now. But don't worry, don't fret, don't misunderstand, don't take false uh, views of, of what's going on. Jesus is the good shepherd. All we need to do is hear his voice and follow him. And his promise is that we will never perish because we have eternal life. You know, it, makes, it stands to reason to me that if we have eternal life, we also, there must also be an eternal death. So today, maybe I should ask, maybe you should ask, do I have eternal life? Am I in Christ? Do I know Jesus for sure, for real, as my Lord and Savior? Because that's eternal life. That's the way... When we know in our heart, when we know down deep in our heart that uh, we have Christ in our life, we know that we are eternally secure. I want to pray with you today. Father, I just thank you for this time that we could come and share these few words, hopefully of encouragement to those that are listening. And I pray, Lord, if there is anyone out there today that's listening that is not a child of God, that they would open their heart and mind and turn their life to the Good Shepherd. They would hear His voice and hear Him call them to come back into the flock. And we thank You for it. We're praising You for it. In Jesus' name, Amen. <music> 